Let's start with a simple project. It is very easy to get the micro bit balls to talk to each other. We need two micro bits for this example. This is the code for the sending bit. First we need to set the radio group. They both need to be in the same group. Let's set some example data to be sent. For this example I've used a string hello world. It's located within the forever block, meaning it will constantly send this string. Now let's write the receiver code. They both have to be in the same radio group, so set it to the same number. I have used radio group 50. Then to check that it is working and read the data that is received, this can be achieved by using the command serial write string and using received string as the message. This is all located within the radio received block. Done. Now save and load a program onto each micro bit. The sending micro bit will continuously transmit the data to all other micro bits on the same channel. If you connect your micro bit to your computer using a USB cable, you can use a serial console such as PuTTY to view the data. Set it to serial and then type the COM port that your micro bit is connected to. Then set the speed to 115,200. Your serial port will print out the data it has received. Part 2 Two way communication. Radio ping pong. This example builds on what we have learned in example 1. First, we need to set the radio group. Next, we need to create a variable to hold data. Variables can hold numbers, text, strings, or true or false. This sets off the chain reaction, which I will detail in a second. When the microbit receives a number, it runs all the code in the pink brackets. I have highlighted it in yellow. These two lines write the data received to the serial port to check it is working. They are not strictly necessary for the program to work. To keep track of how many times it has received data, let's add 1 to the variable we created earlier. To show that the microbit has received some data, let's turn on all the LEDs. Now let's send the data back to the other microbit. Finally, turn the LEDs off so they are ready to be turned back on the next time it receives data. I have slowed down the animation here so you can see what is happening. Each microbit sends out the data, and when the other microbit receives the data, it then replies. This is also logged onto the serial port channel if connected to the USB. This is what it looks like in real time. Now you understand the basic radio functions of the micro bits. Thanks for watching.